Did you have any inkling of how popular this was going to be when you signed up for it? Because yeah, I did. Uh, in fact, uh, um, like six years ago, I told you that. Yeah. I'm teasing you. <laughs> I was gonna no. say, wow, you should and be an executive. No, you know, didn't. when it when it first came out, when it we was bounced. a one hour special, I mean, it was like I told all my friends, I'm like, man, guess what? There's a TV show that that shows what I do, and and then then we and we've all watched it. I mean, we're all big yeah. fans of the show. You know, Jonathan watches, I watch it because. We don't know what's going to happen. We don't really remember this stuff. I mean, because it's our life events. It's not scripted. But has it given you any perspective on your job? Because you are seeing not just your boat, but you're seeing everybody else's boat and yeah. who's going well, out late. It helps us for safety. Yeah. yeah, for safety, when you see something happen, you can use that as a guide. <laughs> use that as a... You can use that as a guide, too. You can t call the crew up, because your crew watches it, too. And it's like, hey, you see that, that guy, what he was doing? That's what I was trying to talk to you guys yeah. about. Because when they're doing their job, and they're out there, and they're in the moment... You're trying to explain something to them. They're tired. <laughs> and you have a lot of newbies this season, yeah. too. Yeah. It seemed like... Crew. A lot of new crew this year on all the boats. Yeah. And, so. I mean, can you talk about how... I mean, you see right off the jump how dangerous that is and how yeah. even if you grew up with the with this, you know, yeah. this lifestyle, yeah. you still don't know what you're there's, doing. There's guys... Uh, yeah. I hate to bring this up, but... but uh, he lost a guy that had been out for years. Yeah, that turned, that yeah I had a guy that was... Uh, it wasn't anything nine, to do yeah. with you. It wasn't your fault. He just made a misstep, and he'd been yeah. on the boat for nine years. He'd been fishing for 14 he, years. He got in front of the yeah. line, and you never... You always stand behind right. the line, and, and he so forgot and got in front of the just, line. And it just, just shows that complacency at any given time, whether you're a veteran or whether you're, uh, you know, you're... A, you're a rookie that, you yeah. know, if you make the wrong move, it no, me, and, me and my brother, your life. Me and my brother are watching the show, and he goes, whoever that was that climbed over the side as we're watching, he's fired. And then when he comes up, it's him. It's my brother. Because <laughs> <laughs> he didn't have a life jacket on. Because right. you think, I'm never going to lose my, my footing or my... Right. Yeah. So just, we, we uh, since the show, we, we go, every, if you're on top of the stack, you have a life jacket on. If you go over the side and you're chaining up, you put a line on yourself. So here comes this jackass, this is my brother. <laughs> that guy is fired, he says, <laughs> it's fired. and it's him. We were laughing so hard. But. I was reading, this. the job that you do, it has the highest fatality rate of any job known yeah. in the United States. Yeah, it has and the injury, it's 99% or some crazy, you imagine, smash your finger, right. or you cut yourself. Right. Yeah, and you gonna, lost it. Yeah, yeah, I lost it. Yeah, and that was, this was when I was running a boat. I, wasn't, I, did, did, I never yeah. really got injured when I was on deck, and then I, I had all my injuries when and I started yeah, running boats. I've been crazy. injured in the engine room, yeah. too, man. There's yeah. a lot Lots of stuff going on down oh, there too, crazy. and you're getting because thrown you're around. Yeah, and you're doing you get a thrown into the job. motor, and you're trying. And to then you know, while you're trying <laughs> to do a normal job lifting heavy things, and all of a sudden, you know, the boat's doing this, so then you get thrown all over the place. And, and the, it just if you're like the, the hardcore fans are going to love this year because there's so many more. They have the cameras are so much smaller and they're high def, right. and they're all over the place. They, yeah. they got they get better angles. The little, and there's more, way more, more cameras, so they don't. They usually miss a bunch of stuff, so um, they catch a lot more. Plus. The uh, the weather was just as bad. I mean, the weather was just brutal. The weather seemed really huge, bad. Huge seas, and the ice last year, and this year it was just the as ice bad. came down quicker than it did last right. year. Except for the crab was really good last year. There's yeah. a lot of crab. Good this year there's no year. crab. This it's year hard it's hard to catch. Yeah. So there, so people start fighting on the boats. Oh yeah, you got you got bad weather, slow crab fishing, and that that just brings and the temperature. Everybody's out and everybody, everybody's everybody boat has frustrated. a meltdown and then breakdown and then we have mechanical breakdowns. We yeah. just spent a million and point two million dollars at the shipyard yeah, and yeah. our boat's breaking down every trip. And that so puts a lot of stress on the My brother, you, you know, never see an Andy yeah. like that and my is so people are gonna the yeah. new people are going to love it. Yeah, you know, the, and the old people are going to love it. I mean, yeah, the people that yeah, watch the yeah, show. Yeah, and you yes. definitely get a sense of how expensive it is to get out there. And then we also oh, have sure. one captain who bought a ship. I mean, like, yeah. and went enormously into debt. I mean, right. what what's your take on that? Is that a smart move? Is that well, you um, know, it's if if you want to if you want to make the progression, yeah, you got you yeah. can't just stay on deck forever. You got to work into the wheelhouse, and once you work in the wheelhouse, you got to work into ownership. Oh, he's like he didn't. I think he has a bunch of. Other people that bought in, yeah. Okay. So was, he has like ten percent or yeah. something at the most. Oh, uh, okay. It, it definitely seemed like a much bigger investment. But yeah. he's still it's, he's it's still a million on the dollars line for in it debt because and he's the guy that's out running the boat. So he's still got to make sure. And so there's a lot of new guys trying to come yeah. up, and then the old guys trying to stay in the game. Right. And, yeah. I guess is the new. Right, and and we've got a lot of guys that, that are on deck that are trying to step up and start running boats. So. Yeah, so yeah, we, you have a little fight on the, like the Northwestern, like you know Jake Anderson, he wants in the wheelhouse, and Edgar wants in the wheelhouse, and Sig's never, well, 
You, <laughs> I don't know. But stuff happens this yeah. year that you would never believe would happen. Yeah. So we, we can't, can't too much give away. We're going to get in trouble. Uh, yeah, I think <laughs> I might be in trouble yeah. already. Your secret's safe with yeah. that. I'm not telling uh, anything. Sure. Uh, <laughs> um, Heard that one before. There's, there's so much drama and, yeah. and chaos, and the weather is just... Because yeah. God's the director out there. I mean, yeah. we, we don't get Mother a script. Rules, you're going to do good this week, yeah. or you're going to do bad. It's, uh, yeah. Yeah. it's not yeah. scripted. The show is just what you see is what you get. They run around as fast as they can and try to get every move we make. That's why with all these new little high-def cameras, those GoPros, yeah. right. that's why the show's so much more action and stuff. That's why I think sure. the show's going to be at a whole new level this year. Plus, you know, with the bad fishing, you know, the crew actually has to work even harder and longer yeah. hours to make yeah. up for that bad fishing. So it, it creates and a lot of tension on deck. And anger. And, and, and then the captains are getting frustrated, too, yeah. because we're trying every trick in the book. I totally had to change my fishing strategy this year. And, and go to a style that I'd never fished for before because my style wasn't working. Then there so. are some full-on brawls. Yeah. And uh, but it's it's, it's like uh, you working at your office, but you're trapped with those same people for three months. Yeah. You don't. And you're you can't not just, ever leave your office. You, yeah. You yeah. yeah you're right. not just eight hours a day with this yeah. guy you hate. And then you're the, stuck with that guy for three months. Yeah. It's like a, a floating then, prison, you know. And that, yeah. and everybody says, well, why would well, you get? Why would people like a, get upset at each other? Well, you're on a floating prison. For well, you three know, months. it's a vest cell, and it's pretty close to jail cell. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, vest cell and jail cell. Vest cell, jail cell. Yeah. So you know, that's that's the biggest thing is that when, when you're out there and you're with the same people day in and day out, the smallest little things are going to nitpick at you, and after. A two or three month period, you're gonna have somebody lose their cool. And sometimes you don't running. like the way someone breathes. Yeah. I don't like the way you breathe. Okay. But then you can love someone in the morning and hate them at that night. Yeah. Also, and then the next morning, and then, you then love they're them buddies again. again. Yeah. That so also you, brings up the issue of you have two camera guys on each boat, right? right? I mean, how I would think initially they would be really underfoot. I mean, how frustrating was that? And what was the learning curve for you guys to get used to? There's two extra people on. Yeah, it's, it's, it, it was really tough for me. I mean, he's, it you makes know, he's, the quarters more cramped. Yeah, it's, it, it, it was tough for me because, you know, the very first year you're like, you're worried about everything. Oh, my God, am I going to look bad because I can't catch any crab? Or am I going to, you know, you're, you're, you're worried about the camera all the time. It's like, oh, I can't, can't you know, what, 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 how are they going to portray me? But, you know, they're going to portray you for who you are. I mean, it's, uh, they're filming you 24 hours a day. I don't care who you are. Your true personality is going to come out. And then mm. after, after that first year, then you just, they become part of the, yeah, part of the they, team. They worry if you're on too long, yeah. you're not going to be yourself. Right. But I think you're more yourself yeah. because you, you just forget you're there yeah. and you give up. After like, a you, couple you of think years. of something really cool to say. I'm going to yeah. say that, and it never makes TV. Yeah. All this stuff that makes TV is stuff it's you forget natural. you said. Yeah, exactly. Because it was that's natural what and from the heart and honest. Is you don't, you don't remember makes, what the, you said. You don't was, remember was, the day when you're fishing because, because it, it's just a daily event to you. It's a, that's, we're going to our job. Or, where you're really we're mad or you're really be. happy and... And I always get the happy dance thing. Yeah. Like, that's so embarrassing. It is, but and that's I, your I go, personality. I tell my brother, I mean, if you're, I you're ever dance like that, it hit me with a bat or something. <laughs> Do some, throw something at me. The crab dance. Do the crab dance. You just can't help it. I just, I, I don't, I don't even remember doing it. Right. And then, it's crazy. So yeah, and then is there anything else that we should know for this coming season? I mean, we kind of given a glimmer. Uh, we got a new it. show, The Bait. Yeah. Oh. Don't eight, forget about eight The Bait. O'clock, eight um, o'clock. And it's, and it's a little bit of fun, and we yeah. put people in the hot seat, yeah. and we talk the about captains, what's going to happen. Basically, the captain's, you know, putting another one of, one of us in the hot seat, yeah. and then we get to pick on it. And, and then, you'll then get the a, next guy gets to go and in. And you so. get a sneak peek of what's yeah. going, what you're going to see tonight on the show. So, on the, on so the at eight o'clock, you're going to sort of get a sneak peek of, right. of what's coming up, and we talk about stuff, and you actually learn stuff that, like the most questions that they get asked. And right. We ex so you actually learn something. It's a little bit funny. Right. Blah 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 yeah, blah. Yeah, pretty good. But then, uh, and then at ten o'clock. Yeah, that some people. At ten o'clock tonight is uh, the Time Bandit history of the Time Bandit yeah. show that we filmed. It took like four months to film. <laughs> yeah, so I mean, it's going to be but, a great, uh, great so three, hour three hours. Three hours of. Wow. Three hours of Jonathan. Yeah, well, you're going to probably. You might see me just once you. or twice. <laughs> <laughs> well, you never know. I might not even be on the show. You know. <laughs> For breaking entertainment news and more, follow at HitFix on Twitter or visit HitFix.com. <laughs>